Alrighty, so let's, um, let's do some rotational movement for our neck. So particularly if you've been sat on a, a device a lot, I'm going to get these muscles moving. So we're just going to drop the head round and I want you to look behind you and then drop your head down and around and then look behind you the other way. And as you do it each side, what can you see behind you? How does that look on the other side? So with each one, you go just a little bit further, a bit further round. Exhale as you drop your hairs, breathe in as you look behind. And just do that one more time each way. Final one. And then from here, if you let your head drop, let your head hang loose and move to the middle and drop over to the other side. And to the middle, lengthen through the crown of your head and drop. And as you lengthen, rising onto your tiptoes and then just dropping your head to the other side, rising onto your tiptoes and dropping your head, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Keep going, just letting Jen in to the zigzoo. Here we are. And then from there, I'd like you to place your heels together so your toes are turned out slightly. And we're going to rise onto the tiptoes, taking the arms wide. And then we're going to bend your knees. Let's do that again. So coming up onto your tiptoes and then heels together and bend your knees. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's do that again. So inhaling and exhaling. Hello, Gaina, how are you? So coming up and drop. That again, coming up and then drop. I'm going to keep going with that same thing, but we'll do it wide and then drop. Tiptoes and then drop. And let's do that again. Tiptoes and then drop. Now can you come up over the top of your head? Hold on your tiptoes. So we're going to stay wide as we now turn and look behind. Oh, hello. Can we do that the other way? Keep going. Just letting Jen back in. She dropped off. So feet down. We're going to squat. Well, plie, I should say. Tiptoe rise. Hello, Jen. We're back in the zigzag room. Uh, ooh, hello. And then we'll drop. <laughs> Let's tr try that again. And one more each way. So, final one. Okay, great. So, just put your feet on the floor. Bring them in a bit. We're going to side lean. And the other way. So, sliding one hand down. Pass the leg. Make it a little bit more balletic by sweeping that bottom arm underneath. And one more each way. Final one. And then if you can come and stand on the one leg for me. So knee up, out to the side, and then straighten it at the back. So knee up, keep it bent. To the side, keep it bent. And then straighten and get your buttock active. Let's do that again. Knee up, bent, and then point your toes, lift your leg. Do that again. Knee up, side. And do it one more time. Welcome the bubble. And reach and release. And let's give that a go on the other side. So knee up, the side, 
the back, going through. The side, extend, going through. Can you do two more? Last one. Reaching up, squatting down. Breathing in, breathing out. You just kind of flop down, get rid of your day. Breathe out. to the side, we're going to drop and then lift, and lift the leg. And more each way. Working the arm. Big circle, spreading your fingers. Now reverse. Let's keep going, lost the mic. Full swing then. All right, just do that a couple more times. So we're going to move down onto the ground now. A good time if you're playing catch up with water have a little drink and breathe in and breathe out are you looking for online classes that support you with getting more me time you want to get supple strong feel less stress get in the driving seat but actually perhaps you've noticed that following videos on uh, YouTube isn't actually helping you commit. Uh, it's not like the teacher reaches out and says, um, correct your hips, bring your knee back, move your posture back. And this is the problem. So um, of course you can hit subscribe to get more from the Zig's YouTube channel, but let's face it, we're not gonna send our children to a school without a teacher or a tutor. I mean, what's their life gonna be like if, um, they're going to learn in that way. So uh, my name is Claire Louise Freeman. I'm the business owner of Zig's Exercise. And I like to encourage you to, to join me and my community online where we get together via Zoom and we practice Pilates conditioning, yoga stretches, mobility. And the thing is, we get to actually talk through this stuff. We get to do it together. And to me, consistently doing it together is the thing that gives us much, much better results than if we're left flailing around in front of a video trying to do it all by ourselves. So if you'd like more information about joining me and others, please reach out, get in touch. Um, you can work with us morning, evening, from the comfort of your own home. It's great because you get all the kit together at home and it does help you to practice in between as well. So um, I'm offering a complimentary kickstart call. Uh, we can talk through what's getting in the way, you know, why it's not worked so far. And um, sometimes the, the, the hardest bit is actually just picking up the phone and um, talking it through. So brave pants on. I work with all sorts of people from various walks of life, different shapes and sizes. And often people um, who do work with me do it because they say that I do it in a very non-judgmental way. Of course, it's free to talk. Uh, so you can click the link in the description box below and we can uh, get to know each other and see if we're a good fit. There's no pressure here. On the call, I'll listen in to, you know, what you need support with, what your personal needs are, and I can answer any of your questions about our online um, Pilates and yoga where we do it together in community. Why wait? This stuff doesn't get any easier as we get older. We work with lots of busy parents, um, grandparents, um, business owners, NHS professionals, private school teachers, regular school teachers. Um, 
So if that feels like you and you need that support and accountability on getting it done, that's the thing. If we've got the sessions booked in regularly, that means we're much more likely to show up. And it's that regularity that people are often missing. You know, they take time off during holidays. Um, it, it's the commitment that gets the motivation. So why wait? Um, book in, give me a call and uh, I'll see you on the other side. We're going to tuck and then roll. Tuck and roll up. We're going to do an exercise that Joseph Pilates called the seal. So we're going to tap one, two, three. If you like, you can bark like a seal. Ar, ar, ar. <laughs> As you do it. I've had one of those days. <laughs> As you do the taps, take hold of your ankles now. One, two, three, and then roll. Add in more advanced, the legs are Kimbo version. Come back in, and then roll. Three taps. Balance the feet out to the side. Quite oh, good fun, this one. Often you get a chance to roll around the floor as an adult. <laughs> And we do two more. Keep lifting in your chest. And final one. Are we feeling a bit warmer? Okay, let's come over onto our front. So hands just slightly wider than your shoulders. So we're going to press the blades down. Squeeze the muscles. Lift and lower. As you're coming up, think about your posture and your shoulders. So, you may have been wearing your shoulders as earrings today. Press down your back and then release. Inhaling, lifting, pointing your toes. Exhaling and lowering. Let's do it again. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you lower. Now on this next one, we're going to stay for longer at the top. So if you can hold up here for three, two, one, and then bring your body down. So again, inhaling, lifting, three, two, one, and then lower. Let me do that twice more. So final one. Talking calf mobilization at the start of the session today. So let's move into that. If you can find me a downward dog, pressing your heels down, then flexing like this on one side. So your heel comes up as the other heel presses down quite firmly. And push down for three, two, one and swap. Now notice the difference if you lift your bottom up in the air at the same time as pressing your heel down. To me there's quite a difference in the feel along the back of the leg if I'm lifting the tailbone up well. So play around with that technique. A good stretch in the car. Do that a couple more times, spreading the toes. So final one. And then from there, if you can bring yourself back to all fours, and we're going to reach our opposite arm and our leg away. So reaching and holding. Now try to lift your leg high enough that your buttock muscle kicks in. Can you get your arm by your ear? Let's do that on the other side. So lift the leg high enough that your buttock kicks in. And what you should imagine is there's a little tray of marbles on your lower back. As you change legs, the aim is not to lose your marbles. And we do that again. Keeping your lower spine steady, keeping the marbles steady got that we're now going to bend the back leg still keeping our little 
plated marble steady. And let's do that again on the other side. Holding the heel towards the bottom. Now often when this muscle is weak, the leg, the thigh bone itself will sort of drop down. So if you can see yourself on screen, as you bend that leg, can you keep some height in the thigh itself? Do one more each way. So final one. We're going to move again to our downward dog, lifting the tailbone, but this time we're going to place one foot in the middle of the mat and add some height on the other leg. So bring it up, you reach your toes up to the ceiling, you press your heel down, breathe. Let's release and give that a go on the other side. So lifting the leg up. Pressing down through your heel. Breathe. And then we're going to take a walk with our feet in and come over onto our backs. Okay, so some core exercises. Sliding the hands into the curve of the lower back. We can pull the belly button muscle in. One leg is coming up as the other leg is coming down. So a scissor action. You can either do it with your legs quite bent or explore your core. Start to take your foot a little bit further away, but still imprinting onto the hands. More advanced, do it with a straight leg, pointing the toes, pressing the shoulders back. Last couple. Alrighty, and then from there, if you bend your knees, hug them up to your chest and circle your knees out and around. And as you circle, just closing your eyes, just really taking a moment to feel your lower back against the floor. Allow your bottom to tuck and then arch, tucking and then arching and then reversing the circles back in the opposite direction. Breathe. Letting your thigh bones sort of stir around in your hip joints. Just feeling the hips. Noticing what's going on in there today. Just kind of tuning into your body. Alrighty, and then from here, we're going to come up. So we're now in a seated position and we're going to place opposite hand to foot forward. And then from here, we're going to turn with the other hand reaching up towards the, the ceiling. That's it. And really lengthen your back leg. Straightening the back leg away, so we're on tiptoes on that back foot, breathe. And pushing the ground away with that bottom hand to get that strengthening effect through the bottom arm, breathe. We're going to drop our back knee on the floor and we're going to come up so that our shoulders sit above our hip. We're going to unhook this back foot, we'll do a ta-da hands. And allow your hips to sort of drop forwards and down. So your, your body weight's forwards and down. Now you can either stay with this version, or if you're feeling like you want to go for it, we're going to get a hold of this back foot and bring the heel towards the bottom. Can get a bit wobbly, so you will need to welcome the wobble on this one. Big toe joint down helps to sandwich that front foot to the ground. And then from here, we're going to place our feet into a wide sort of hamstring stretch, walking the hands in towards the middle of the feet like this. 
Now it's up to you how far you take it. Obviously we want you being safe, but just explore where's the sort of edge, edge of your stretch. Deep breath. Now can you drop your head down so you look between your legs? Breathe. Have a little look at the world from a different view. Always good to do that at times. What a copy of a book called Limitless. There's a seven hats theories in there, which is all about the mindset of looking at a, an issue in seven different ways. So we'll be sharing that one over the next few weeks. A guy called Jim Quick, if you're interested. So now we're going to bring our opposite hand down again on the other side. Continue that stretch where we turn the upper body, reach the fingers up. Breathing deeply. Lengthening out through the back leg. We drop that back knee down and hook the toes at the back. We'll do the ta-da hands again. Drop the hip bones forwards and down, breathing deeply. And sometimes this back leg hip will sort of wander off. Try and rotate your hips forwards. Feel the stretch. And again, for those of you who want to give that more advanced option a go, get hold of that back foot, heel towards your bottom. We lean back into it, breathe. Now we're going to go back into that wide leg one, popular one with Gaz, this one. Walking your hands in towards the middle of your feet, let your head drop, explore the stretch again, breathing deeply. Alrighty, resting off, can you take a seat? Now, if you find that it's tricky to sit up straight, you can um, grab a cushion if needed. Something just to park under your bottom, a wedge, a trainer will do, whatever you like. Something just to give you lift if you need it. I do want you sat nice and upright. And we're gonna point the toes. And then we're gonna flex our feet and rotate the body so the opposite hand coming across towards the foot, the ankle, the shin. We're just going to tuck the nose down so the forehead comes towards the knee. And let's do that again. So pointing the toes when you're upright, lifting your chest. Opposite hand is going to come across and get hold of whatever you can get hold of as you drop your chest towards your thigh. So we're going to point the toes. When you turn, try to remain upright so your upper body is sort of up and then drop two, three. So we're going to spend about three seconds down there. And then drop three, two, one. Let's do that again. Two toes and then flex and drop down. Two, one. Some of you want to go further than others. If you want to, you can take your feet a bit wider. It's up to you. Your workout. And we do one more on each side. All the way down now. So final one. Breathe. Alrighty, let's release and give our legs a shake. We're going to move into shoulder bridge raises. So, um, for those of you who want to do the more advanced version on this, if you grab some foam roll, a foam roller each, or you can do it with a cushion between your knees, or more advanced version, you might want to do it with a foam roller underneath. Okay, so we're going to feet just flatly on the floor for level one. Level two, have your cushion between your knees. Or third level, we're going to place our feet like this on the roll. And we're 
we're curling the tailbone under as we lift. Now I want you to get what I call the ump factor. So ump at the top so that your knees, your hips, your chest are in line and then imprinting through your middle back and into your lower back. Let's do that again. Curling under as you lift, get the ump factor at the top and then imprinting middle back, lower back to come down. Now for those of you on the roller, notice do your toes sort of stick upwards when you're in the air? Can you drop your toes down a bit? You may feel it quite strongly around your hamstrings and the back of your legs. Good stamina building exercise for there. Now we're going to hold at the top. Can we lift the arms? Touch the thumbs down behind us and then draw a big circle with the arms whilst we stay up there with the hips. It's imprinting down, breathing in. Exhaling and lifting. Reaching the arms, breathing in. Exhaling and circling. Imprinting bit by bit. Let's do that again. Tucking under. Squeezing the buttocks from behind, thumbs down, and then circling. Could we do that twice more? Squeezing the knees. Last one. So we've worked on strengthening the hamstrings. Let's work on giving them a stretch now. So we're going to extend the right leg up and we're going to catch hold of it with both hands and just ease it towards us. Level two, notice I'm straightening my bottom leg down, pointing through both sets of toes for third option, bringing the nose and the knee towards each other. Let's release it off. So choose which level you want to work with. Extending the leg, easing it towards you. Now that may be enough for you. Point your toes quite firmly. Level two, we extend the bottom leg down, still reaching through both sets of toes. Breathe. So more advanced option. Nose and knee towards each other. And then we're going to use that leg to rock ourselves up to a seated position. Feet flat on the floor. Can we elongate the spine? Now we're going to roll the body down, touch the head on the ground, and then come back up. So bent legs as you come up and down. If it's a struggle to come up and down, you can hook a band underneath. Practice that until you get a little stronger. Now notice my arms are by my ears for more advanced option. If it's already tough without the arms above the head, then keep it with your arms by your side. Breathing out and lifting. Hello, Zach. You've got a visitor. Do that four more times. Breathing in on the roll down. Breathing out on the lift. The last couple, can you make it a smooth move? Not jerking the move, be the one in the driving seat. And final one. Yeah, we're going to crisscross our legs. If you've got any trouble with your knees and crisscrossing doesn't agree today, you can always park your feet open. We're going to reach the arms. Can you bring them up by your ears? High gaze up between your hands. And then taking the hands quite wide, arms to the floor. Looking your chin in, which is where you feel the stretch. 
inch your fingers forwards. Go a little bit further, breathe into your back. Let's walk our hands back in. And then if we switch the other leg over the top, tuck it back in. And you get yourself right up onto your sitting bones. The arms are up and back by the ears and go quite wide with the hands. Oh, I like this album. Chin to chest. Breathe. And you nudge forwards again with your fingers. Nudge a little bit further. And sliding your hands in and you straighten your legs out. Hands down by your side. Jean, you may want to do some squats or something else. I'm conscious of your wrist. You probably won't like this one. Do some squats. Get a little bottom off the ground and then lower. Pointing your toes as you lift and then lower. Flexing your feet, pointing, lift your bottom. More height and coming back down. Flexing your feet, coming up and lower. Point your toes. more time. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a one-handed version of that, Jean. Well done. <laughs> okay, let's come up to standing. Now's a good time for some water. Have a drink. Oh, he's going. He has done an hour before this, so we'll let him off. Okay. Have a drink. Alrighty, so... Right, grab yourselves a um, stick each. Okay, so using the stick, we're going to mobilize our shoulders. We're touching down behind. Front. Toes. Tippy toes, rock. Notice my heels are tucked in, toes are turned out. Touching your heels together and then apart when you're in the lane. And one more time. to take the stick behind you so you've now got the thumbs touched together like this and you roll your shoulders back straighten your arms get some height on your arms without leaning your upper body forwards let's release do that again so squeeze your shoulders lift and then lower Keep your thumbs touched together as you lift. Rising onto tiptoes, eye gaze up and coming back down. Breathing in, tiptoes, breathing out. And you rock back into your heels. So up onto tiptoes as you come up and then rock back to your heels so your toes lift. Wobbling optional, let's do two more. Back to your heels, so final one, and let's release, and I'd like you to find some weights now, so if you grab some weights, okay. we're going to use them in our pop training now, so just slightly wider than our hips, 
the weight down inside, depending what weight you weights. We're going to come down, 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 and then lift. So about that count. Three, two, one, and then up. Drop, 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 and lift. Now you can either keep going with this version, or we're going to pull the weight up to the shoulder and then extend forwards. Back in and down. So level two, we push out from the shoulder. Or level three, we push out, come overhead, so long as we've got happy neck and shoulders. The arms are by the ears. Can we do that twice more? Three. The final one. Relaxing off. Let's take a little stretch next. Moving our feet wide. Turning out over here. And angling in at 45. Over here. As we switch into triangle pose. Lengthening with our top arm. Sliding the hand along the shin. Now if you're at that point where you're nearly on the floor, Touching the fingertips down. Breathe. We're going to wriggle the back foot a little bit further away as we switch into our warrior pose. So you might want to take your feet just a little wider. What we're looking for here is the corner of a square. Sliding the back hand onto the leg. Switching back to our warrior pose, stacking the shoulders above the hip, straightening the leg, and turning the feet, same but the other way, switching to our triangle pose, stacking the arms one above the other, breathe, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Go a little further, breathe. Bending into the knee, wriggling the back foot away. Breathe. Back hand down. Pose. And let's release. Hands on the hip. We're going to turn. We're going to lunge down. Bending into our front knee. Lengthening out through our back leg. Keeping the upper body nice and upright. And then straightening out the front leg. Let's do that again. Can you tuck your bottom under as you come down? You can either stay with this version or bring your hands together at the front here. Bring your shoulder blades down your back, looking towards your thumbs. Breathe. And let's release, straightening the leg. We're just gonna do that one more time. So either hands on your hips or hands together in front or more advanced. Bringing arms up and back by your ears. Eye gaze turning up to test the balance. Breathe. And let's release. Okay, so we're going to turn around, tuck the tailbone under. And we're going to drop and give that a go on the other side. And you get your shoulders above your hips. You can see yourself in your screen. Body forward here. Can you get your shoulders snacked? above your hip, straightening the leg, dropping in, arms together, breathe, and let's release, 
then one more time, choose your level. Your advanced arms up by the ears, eye gaze turning up. And let's release, bringing our feet in. Can you find your weights again? weights in your hands, your elbows back, tiptoe rise, squeeze your armpit, squeeze your elbow, squeeze your shoulders, move to the middle. Try that again. Squeeze at those points, lengthen your posture and lower. Next level, we add some Squeeze and then we extend away, moving back in and coming down. The level two is adding that extension. If you want to go more advanced, keep the extension. Turn, look towards the back hand to test balance. Move to the middle, come back in and down. Choose your level. Do that again. And we do two more. Yeah. Lengthening your posture. The final one. Alrighty, resting off. Let's take a stretch. Okay, so come back to the mat. So we're going to move into doing a yoga based quad stretch. I'd like you to invite you to sit on your feet. If you've got any knee injuries and in you're knees don't like it, you can always do a basic quad stretch where you lie on your front, get a hold of your foot. So first level on these, we're going to slide the hands back, we're going to lift the bottom up and push up the hips. Use your shoulders, eye gaze looking up, breathing into the belly. Let's release and give the hands a shake. You can repeat that version on the hands. And I'm going to move down to my elbows. Use the buttons, lift up. Let's release. So coming up, shaking out. So three layers again to this. Again, do the level that feels appropriate for you. So either hands level one, elbows level two, or head level three. Pushing up through the hips. And let's release. Alrighty, from here, we we'll move into a yoga glute stretch. So if you can take your right leg away long and bring your left leg in, and you need a hug, you may not have had one yet today, we're going to cross it over and then bring the elbow to say hello knee, give the knee a hug and then park the hand behind as we squeeze the knee close to the chest, lengthen up through the crown of your head, flexing the foot at the front as if you're trying to push the wall away in front of you with that front foot. And let's release. So next level, we're going to hook this bent leg at the front underneath here. So you take a seat on your heel. If you want to go further, we bring the elbow 
ground on the quad. Push the ground away. So opposite arm coming across that leg. Noticing where do you feel the stretch? And let's release and unravel the legs. So where did we start? We now want the left leg forwards. We bring the right one over the top. Opposite elbow wrapping around the knee, straightening the back. The ground away with the hand behind. Now can with that back hand, can you get your forearm touch your back? That's it. Really straighten up through your spine as you turn and look behind that shoulder. Breathe. Keep squeezing the knee in. Flexing the front foot. You're pushing the wall away with that foot in front. Breathe. Let's release. So again, you can either stay with that version or can you bend that right leg in so that you're now sitting on your heel. Elbow coming across to the middle thigh. And again, pushing the ground away from the back hand. Breathe. Let's release. And we're gonna bring our toes together. facing down, to rest our forehead on the ground, bring the fingers forwards, pressing down through the palms, lengthening the arms, and as you press your palms down, get that stretch underneath your armpits, let your belly hang loose, breathe into your belly. Head is just really connected down into the ground. Breathe. Alrighty, from here, if you can join me down up to your back. the soles of the feet together and let the knees hang loose. Floppy arms, palms flexing up. Let your belly breathe. Open your teeth, relax your jaw. Allow the back of your head to nestle into the ground. Breathing into your belly. Elongating the breath so your belly fills with air for longer. And you empty out for longer. Filling fully up. And emptying out, out, out. Just do that one more time. Let your belly fill. And let your belly empty. Let your legs straighten out. Just let your feet go floppy, floppy feet. A bit ragdoll like in your legs. Let your attention drift to the sounds you can hear.
want you to take a moment just to notice how you're feeling now compared to an hour ago. Has the shift been in your energy, in your body? Just taking a moment to be with that. And just fast forwarding to your day tomorrow and thinking about how you're going to carry that feeling forward and that habit into the next day. a moment to contemplate if you then carry that forward into the next day and the next day and the day after that and keep going with that with that habit how does that add up to the bigger picture in your life how does that knock on to people around you if you keep moving that habit forward on a regular daily basis. I'd like you to open your eyes and just lay on your back. And then when you're ready, if you can slide your legs so they come back in. Going to roll sideways. And we'll have a little stretch for our neck. Just placing the soles of our feet together. And just parking the hands here around the back of your, your head. Just not dropping your chin down to your chest and applying just a little bit of pressure there in the back of your, your head, breathing into the stretch. And releasing, straightening the legs and keeping just one hand now on the top as we turn, almost like we're gonna sniff the armpit as we drop the chin down and apply a little bit of pull with the hand at the back of the skull. Breathing into the stretch. And let's release, lengthening up through your back. Let me park your other one here. And then turn your head, so chin in towards the armpit, sliding the hand, applying that little bit of pressure there. Breathe deeply. So I hope that's made a, a difference to your day today. If you can just come and have a little check-in together. How are we feeling?